morning. It's Friday, July 3rd. And most people are off today because they're celebrating the 4th of July weekend. And I can tell you it's the 4th of July weekend coming up because the fireworks around my house are going crazy. It's like we're in London during the air raids in World War II. However, today I want to talk about Call it COVID-19 by the numbers. Nancy Pelosi said, we had the worst numbers in the world. We have the worst record of any country in the world. While the U.S. has the most confirmed cases and deaths by a wide margin, it does not have the most in either category on a per capita basis. What the hell is the difference? People are dying. What's the difference that we're looking at it per capita, per person, per million, per thousand? We got 127,000 so people who died. That's the number. That is a number. That's a real number. Those are real people who died. So while Pelosi said we're the worst in the world, we're not the worst in the world. But what's the difference if you're not the worst in the world? If you're tenth, is that any good? The people are dead. If you're first, they're dead. If you're tenth, they're dead. If you're twentieth, they're dead. And what does it mean per capita? What does per capita mean? I'll tell you what per capita means. It means instead of counting the number of deaths that you have in the whole country, you count the number of deaths by the same number for everybody. So let's count the number of deaths per million, right? So if you count the number of deaths per million, we're not number one. Because Chile had 14,000 deaths per million, right? And Kuwait had 10,000 deaths per million. And Peru had 8,000 deaths per million. But we in the United States only had 7,500 deaths per million. So we're doing better than they are. Bullshit. They're all dying. And then they got another way of measuring it, right? So it's based upon raw numbers, confirmed deaths. We have 125 on 27,000. So we had 25% of the 498,000 deaths in the world. And Brazil had 57,000 of the 498 deaths in the world. So their percentage is lower than ours. But if you look at it per capita deaths, right? Then if you have to look at it, We only had 379 confirmed deaths per a million, and that's fewer than eight other nations. Belgium had 839 per million. The United Kingdom had 640 per million. Italy had 574 per million. Now, here's a real number that should bother everybody. Fauci has warned that the new COVID-19 cases in the U.S., could soar to 100,000 a day if the country can't get its get a handle on the virus's resurgent spread. So he's worried about a cataclysmic number, not some bullshit number that people throw out to make themselves feel good because the percentage is big, but the capa, per capita is acceptable, blah, 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 right? The interesting thing about this is some of the Republicans are starting to take notice. Some people are getting the message. More and more Republican leaders are publicly pushing face mask use, which most medical experts agree is one of the best first lines of defense. Mitch McConnell, who is the most evil man in government, finally said something intelligent. There should be no stigma attached about covering up in public. And other GOP lawmakers have connected mass use to reducing the risk of another round of economic shutdowns. The only one who seems to be holding up his position is the president, who remains notably silent and unmasked on the issue. Of course, he's not going to admit that he's wrong about this. Of course, he's probably not counting the numbers either. But think about this, buddy. That's 125,000 voters you lost. So where do we stand right now? Well, 
The deaths reported yesterday are rising. The new cases reported yesterday are rising. The daily test reported yesterday, 648,000 rising. Hiring of newly employed workers last week, 8%. That's a good number. Mortgage application down last week, 1.8%. Summer trips planned by Americans compared to last year, down 15%. Trips planned via air travel, down 74%. Trips planned via cruise, bus, or rail compared to last year, down 86%. And I heard that they're extending uh, the government relief packages for a third package. So all in all, the numbers suck. And yesterday we had 50,000 new cases, 50,000. And unemployment insurance fell by 11%. That's pretty good. However, we had 1.4 million people apply for unemployment insurance. So the numbers are bouncing around. And I'm getting tired of talking to you today, so I'm quitting. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.